This is True Really News with Scott Combs and Tony Vercanis. All the news you're about to hear is true. As far as you know. Firefighters with the Essex County Fire and Rescue Service, that would be Essex County, England. Ah, thank you. Were called to a derelict laundromat. See, because it was U.S. Yeah. They were called to an abandoned laundromat. Exactly. Yeah. In Epping on October 30th. Three young men had become trapped inside an industrial-sized tumble dryer. <laughs> Please warn me before I drink <laughs> when you're going to say something. <laughs> Two of our geniuses climbed all the way into the dryer, oh, while the third had managed to get his ankle trapped in the door. Oh, my Lord. Firefighters joined by Essex police, a medical helicopter, and an ambulance service as they employed, quote, a lot of heavy equipment to free the men. No word on what they were looking for in there. They also don't tell me if alcohol was involved, but if I were a betting man. I once stuck my uh, little sister, Lisa, no relation, in the dryer and turned it on. And she didn't kill you. <laughs> she hasn't yet. Not that she hasn't tried, mind you. Early, see? <laughs> Early days. <laughs> From Taiwan, alarmed neighbors heard pops, cracks, and screaming coming from one Mr. Yi's apartment. They also smelled gunpowder, so they called the fire department. Mm -hmm. When emergency workers opened the door to Mr. Yi's room, they could vaguely see him through a cloud of smoke wearing a Speedo on all fours, legs spread, yelling, Ow! As he tells it, Mr. Yi was playing video games in a Speedo, like you do. He got hungry and decided... Oh, no, well, you don't. <laughs> well, you might not, and I might not. I think Mr. Yi might. Human being... Now, see that... Yeah. You see? So he gets hungry while wearing his Speedo playing video games, decides to make some ramen. Apparently, a box of bottle rockets was a little too close to the open flame on the stove and were ignited. Rockets just happened to be pointed right at Mr. Yee's wedding tackle. Mr. Yee said the fireworks seemed to fly as if they were somehow intended to hit him in his aforementioned groinal region, and his only defense was to flail his feet wildly in a desperate attempt to block one or two. Of the 20 bottle rockets raining down on him in a superlative display of shock and awe, he was treated and released from the hospital with only minor bruises and burns. Ramen, however, was completely ruined. You know... What? No, what do you mean no? I think know, this guy just, needs iron no, I'm, I'm just thinking, if the Three Stooges had planned that, the studio would have said, don't be stupid. I mean, you already hit people with large hammers and <laughs> things and you don't die. So why could they possibly believe this? Let's stay in the realm of reality, shall we? So for all the times I said the Three Stooges shenanigans couldn't happen without <laughs> killing someone, I apologize. In Germany, Lipstadt. Lip City? Hmm. was foiled by his own booty as he Maybe. tried to make off with a robotic lawnmower. No, no, no. Oh, oh, not his booty. His booty, booty you know, the stuff you set, you steal. Yeah, the okay. Booty. I was not concerned. Booty. Well, yeah, because yeah. you're all stuck in the groin area there. <laughs> the Associated Press reported that the robot lawnmower sent a message to the owner's smartphone alerting the man that it had been flipped upside down. Hmm. When, do they have those for turtles? That would be good. They when should. The, they you got to let them know when it happens. When the owner went to investigate, he saw the thief with a ro robot under his arm. Police said the thief then simply dropped the lawnmower and ran away. Run away! I think I could probably use one of those chips. From the This Is True Really Wayback Machine. Notify my wife. October 1996. Bring a winch. <laughs> Sorry. Thinking aloud. Go ahead. Winch. Pronounce that car carefully. Winch. I did. I would never call my wife a wench because I like living here. Exactly. October 1996, Mont Blanc, the high-end pen maker, was offering a limited edition pen engraved with the name Alexander Dumas for the paltry sum of $750. Oh. When the company realized the signature on the pens was not actually that of the author of The Three Musketeers, they were forced to issue a recall. One might query whose signature was engraved on the pens. Oh, Scott. Yes, Tony. I have a question. 
Go right ahead. A query, if you may. Ooh, I like queries. Whose signature was inscribed on the pen? Alexander Dumas, Jr., who might potentially be remembered as the author of The Lady with the Camellias. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> This is True Really News. Send email to TITR at netradio.network.